Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be sharing with you guys a makeup haul. I purchased some stuff from Ulta. Well, actually I used 2000 points from Ulta and that is equivalent to $125 off. So I am gonna be doing a Ulta haul that I can't get it out of my head. It's funny because I got my, my order sent in a bag and I was like, it's because you got it for free. That's why they don't care how you get it. Like it's free makeup here in a bag, you know? Like I feel like stuff's not really protected in these bags, but I did order an eyeshadow palette and it did arrive safely. So I was very surprised. If you would like to see what products I picked up, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe and let's just go ahead and jump right in. So again, I was very surprised I got this in a baggie because I knew I had ordered a palette and I was like, my palette's gonna be broken. Like the shades are gonna be broken. There is no way it survived. And let me tell you, it did survive. I was actually very surprised. So I did redeem 2000 points. I always wait and save my points until I get to 2000 points because they are worth more. If you save up your points, if you're using up, um, if you have like a couple dollars off, $5 off, $10 off, they're not, uh, the points aren't worth as much as if you just save them to 2000 points, which is $125 off. So I actually only paid $4 for the products that I picked up. Plus I, I always wait to get a 20% off coupon code for prestige. That way I can get high-end products for free and I can use my points. So definitely a little tip there for you guys. If you guys don't do that, I definitely suggest you guys um, do that because you can get more stuff uh, more free stuff for the same 2,000 points you're already gonna be using. So I did pick up a lot of lip products, which I'm actually surprised. I haven't really been purchasing lip products, maybe why, but I saw Nikki LaRose here on YouTube. She's a professional makeup artist in California. She mentioned this in one of her reels that she did. Um, this is the Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oil in the shade 200 Coco Cacao. Coco Cacao, I can't say that word. So it's this, <laughs> uh, I picked this up. I haven't swatched it or anything like that. I've heard other people really like these lip oils. So if I really like this one, then maybe I'll pick up another one. Ooh, I like the, the applicator there, but let's see. Okay, so it does have a tint. I did pick up this color because it is like fall time coming up and I figured it'd be a nice um, fall shade as you can see it does have like that slight tint so I think it'll be nice paired with like a lip liner or even she applied it over the Fenty velvet liquid lipsticks which I actually had in my cart as well I had both of the products she had in that reel but I took out the Fenty and I just got this so again I just wanted a lip oil and the color was different from what I usually pick up so I got that one leather lip product that I picked up is this Elf O Face Sand Lipstick in the shade Hustle. I don't feel like I have anything like this in my collection um, because this is more of like a peachy type of lipstick. I do have another one, uh, another shade of these Elf lipsticks and the packaging is super nice like it's like velvety and then it has the magnetic closure for being elf so again i picked up the shade hustle and i don't know why i just was wanting this color ever since i think it was patty alfonso um she wore this with a lip liner oh wow this is definitely not a color that i usually wear but i don't know i was just so intrigued with the shade on her so i was just like let me pick up another shade and obviously a color that I don't really have in my collection. I believe she paired it with like a darker lip liner, a more vampy lip liner and then applied this like in the center and it looked really pretty and then like a gloss over it. So I picked it up as well and I'm gonna try it out and see. Again, this is definitely not a color that I would wear. So yeah, but it, it just looks so pretty on her that I was like, I'm gonna pick it up too and try it out. The next lip product that I picked up was this one by Nabla. I saw it was under the new Arrived. This is the Beyond Jelly Sheer Subtle Lipstick. I think I'm picking these up because I just finished my uh, Pat McGrath lip balm and I really liked it a lot. It's just super expensive, like what, $35 maybe, $34 for a lip balm. And I think this was around $24, $22, something like that. But the packaging is so nice on this. And I just picked up the shade Drea, or Dea, D-E-A, 
Beyond Jelly Sheer Lipstick. And it's like a Your Lips But Better, I thought, kind of color. Oh, it's a little bit more on the vampire side a little bit. But nothing too opaque or anything like that. It is a jelly lipstick, so it is more like a balm type of lipstick. Very pretty, pro very appropriate for the season as well. This packaging is really nice. It's not like magnetic or anything. You do have to push it in, but I just think it's like so fancy. Like it's really, really nice. So I picked this up and then I picked up two concealers and a palette. So I'm gonna talk about the concealers. Um, the one concealer I got is from NARS. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. Concealer, And I got the shade Medium One Custard. I had a deluxe size of this and I really enjoyed it. And again, I'm like really into concealing my darkness and I know this one works super, super well. And when I had the little mini, I loved it. It went by really quickly. So I don't feel like it has that much product, but to test it out, it, it was nice enough for me to want to pick up a full size. And then I've been wanting this one forever. So hopefully this shade works for me. This is the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. And I picked up the shade RN3. Again, hopefully this shade works out for me. I don't have, I didn't have like a Sephora or Ulta that carried it in store so I can go swatch it. The color seems okay. Hopefully it works out. I pretty much went with whatever people closest to my skin tone were using, kind of. Let's see. I think it might be okay. It does feel like a little bit um, runny, a little bit. If you've tried this concealer out, what do you think of it? The packaging's super nice, but I've been wanting this concealer and I knew I wanted to pick it up with my points whenever Ulta decided to send the 20 off Prestige. They have not been sending off those coupons very often, so you definitely have to take advantage when they do. And I actually waited till the last minute to see what other new stuff would launch. Um, by the time I placed my order, I think this one had barely um, launched on the site, but this has been in my cart forever. So hopefully this shade works out for me. It does have like a peachy pink tint to it. It might be a little too light for me right now since I am more on the tanner side. I've been, I've been out in the sun. Even if I'm just like picking up my daughter, like you get a tan here in Vegas. Like even if you're not trying to get a tan, you get a tan. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And then the last product, the palette that I picked up, I kept debating to between this one and the Yucca palette. And I think I still want the Yucca palette. So I still have, uh, what is it? Like 3,500 points. So I might place another order or I'll just wait until I get another 20% 20 20 off prestige. But I went with the Cosmos palette by ABH. I, I remember thinking it was so pretty, like ethereal and very, yeah, ethereal. Like the shades are so pretty and sparkly and I'm like into sparkle. I'm always wearing sparkly shades on my eyelids and I was very surprised. This was not broken when I opened it. I was like, okay, let me just open the palette and see. And I, when I opened it, I was actually very surprised. I was just looking at the one shade, but I think it's fine. Yeah, I'm very surprised this actually survived in that bag. And yeah, this is what it looks like and I'm very excited to use it. I've seen such great things about it. Quite, quite Quizar? I don't know what that shade is, but this one reminds me of a shade that was in Subculture that I had decluttered. And this one, the Super Cluster, looks so pretty. And let's swatch Sun. I guess there's like multi-chromes in here. Multi-chromes? Dual chromes, multi chromes, something like that. So, where am I gonna swatch? Hmm, okay, right here. Oh my gosh, yeah, they do. They're like dual chromey. Wow, these are so pretty. I'm excited. I'm excited to use this. It's so pretty. Again, I kept going back and forth between this one and the the Yucca or Yucca palette from Natasha Denona. I think I still want that one, but I just went with this one just because again, I like shimmery shades and I wanted a little bit more variety of colors than just like greens and golds, but that palette looks really pretty, but I am happy to have this one because this one looks super pretty as well. So that is it. That is my whole haul. I got what? Three lipsticks, two concealers and a palette for free. Oh, and I also got this freebie here. Why did I get this for free if I didn't order anything from ABH? Oh, I did, the palette, duh. So it was a free gift and you can pick which color you wanted and I just got dark brown in this Brow Wiz, which is nice because sometimes you get those samples that are not even your shade and they don't even work out for you. So I got to pick my shade, which was nice and that was my freebie for this 
order. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. What do you think of them? And also let me know if you save up your points as well and redeem them at 2000 point increments. I definitely do that. I don't use my points before then. And definitely take advantage of the 10 times points whenever they do them. I feel like you get, get the most out of the points like if you buy a perfume. Perfume's expensive and then it's 10 times the points so that's always nice. So anyways, hopefully this concealer works out for me. It actually looks a little light. So I probably should use that sooner than later. Try it out and see if I have to exchange it for a different shade. Anyways. My haul is over. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.